everyone, so with the Bioshock movie coming up, I guess, and the Bioshock TV series that's coming in Netflix, should I be worried about it? Um, I mean, not really. I mean, Bioshock, the first game, takes place in 1917. I mean, that gives them a lot of time to tackle woke issues, have characters want to, I don't know, leave said woke, or leave the area to go to Rapture. I feel like if, if they can tackle this wokeness correctly, then the Bioshock TV series and movie can, can actually work really, really well, actually. So, I, will, I do want to talk about Cure for Wellness. Yeah, Cure for Wellness was supposed to be the Bioshock movie. But, there were problems. I know I mentioned it before, but... Well, I'm going to do a comparison. Yeah, I want to do a comparison between, um... Bioshock and... Uh, a Cure for Wellness. Compares like what do they have in common, what things would change, this and that. Alright, um, oh, the director of The Ring, okay. Made a cure for wellness. Okay, so the problem with the movie was well. The problem was the Raiden. The director wanted it to be rated R, because again, Bioshock would definitely be rated R, TVMA. Guy said no, PG-13. Fight happened and they scrapped it. Funny enough, A Cure for Wellness got the R rated some. Got the R rated. Ugh. Why couldn't they just get the R rated in this be the Bioshock? But I am glad A Cure for Wellness is here. Okay, what do they have in common? <clears throat> water. And the eels that, that's in the water that gives you eternal life, I guess I was originally supposed to be the plasmids? No, um, the, the sea slugs that give you the atom. Also, the main villain of the movie, um... The main villain of the movie is basically Frank Fontaine as he had to keep changing his identity with costumes throughout the years. For hundreds of, well, 200 years. And yeah. Um, let's see. In the, in the Cure for Wellness, um, the main character gets into a car crash. So both the main character and Jack from Bioshock 1, were both in crashes and was sent to Rapture. The main character in the Cure for Wellness goes to... Yep, goes to the fitness center where the experiments are going on and they're going... and they're also, um... And Jack went to Rapture. Now, there's no splices, big daddies, or anything like that. Kind of a bit of a letdown. <clears throat> but... I like the movie. The movie actually did really well. It is a two hour long one, too. I hope. So, sorry. And you can definitely see, like, both on the cases underwater. Yeah, real subtle. There's a facility and there's the, um, tower. Yes. Mm. Even the case of the DVD kind of looks like rap. Well, the Bioshock Collection game case. Hmm. 
Anyway, so if there's any other things, um, well, you know, I already said that. The eels are basically the, um, sea slugs. Alright, what else? Um, Frank Fontaine and the main villain of Kira once both die. Um, Alright, um, I hope everyone has a wonderful day.